Hi, welcome to statistics for the summer. I wanted to help show you how you can easily send me a question or ask for an extension while using WebAssign. So I'm currently using a section of uh, the summer for the summer one of uh, 2020. And I'm in my first assignment for chapter one homework and I'm on question number two. And I'm reading through my question number two and I don't completely understand um, what's happening. So I have a question. So right here in the upper right hand corner of the question, it says, ask my teacher. So I can click on that. And in here, it says I have a place to send a message. And I say, hi, Mr. Hadley. It's nice not to say, hey, dude, or something like that. So I say, hi, Mr. Hadley. I am having, and then if I spell it wrong, it's nice. It finds my spelling errors, right? Trouble uh, with this question. And then maybe you put some more detail, like saying, um, is the subject being measured the same as the population? Something like that. And then you click Send. And then what happens is I get, on my end, I get something um, that says, you have asked me a question. And then more specifically, when I answer that question, I can look specifically at the problem you were looking at. Because for many of the questions we're going to do with WebAssign, the numbers that you have in your problem might be slightly different than the numbers I have in my problem, or one of your other classmates. So the nice part about when you do this method is I can see specifically exactly the problem you're working on and also I can see all the attempts of the problem that you've tried to answer in the past. And it's a great way for me to communicate with you. So then when I email you back the solution, you'll see that in uh, your uh, board up here with communications. So that's a really great way for us to communicate. One other thing I want to point out is in the syllabus and in the orientation, I mentioned the fact that you can't ask uh, for any late assignments. That's sort of a fib. If you ask for an extension, I will grant it. Now, I will be sort of selective about it. If you ask me for an extension on every assignment, uh, I'll say, look, you've asked me for too many but you can just click down here at the very bottom where it says extension or request extension. So I click on request extension and it, it tells me the problem I'm working on. And then what I would do is go, well, I want this new uh, date and you could click automatic and it says not allowed, right? So you ask this uh, request a new extension date and you put in, look, I'm not gonna get this done by the 16th when it was due but can I have an extension request until Tuesday the 9th? And I click done. And then maybe you put something like here, uh, I had issues with my daycare. And could I please have a few days extension, something like that, right? And uh, oops, I misspelled extension. And so then I click submit. And once again, on my end, it, it'll show up as an extension request. And then I will grant the request, most likely, unless you abuse that, and that'll show up in your communication center that it's been granted. So that's an easy way for me to, to do that. If you emailed me using my GRCC email account, that's fine, but the problem is then I have to go into your Blackboard, or, or sorry, I have to go into your WebAssign account, then find uh, the spot that you were talking about, 
and grant the extension. And by using WebAssign's built-in uh, place, it's much easier for me to do. Okay, have a great semester. Use these two tips, and it'll make your life easier and my life easier too.